Artistas! Welcome back to my virtual art room. My name is Miss Paula Lise. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? Precioso! Did you know that names are an important part of who we are as individuals? Vamos! Let's learn more! Today, we will teach others our name through a work of art. Hoy, enseñaremos a otros nuestro nombre a través de una obra de arte. Your name is likely the most important word in the world to you. Because of that, it's important that people not only know what your name is, but also how to properly say it. So instead of telling us your name, let's have you teach us your name. I'll go first. Hola, mi nombre es Señorita Paula Liz. My name is pronounced Miss Paul A Liz. Miss Paula Liz. Now it's your turn. What's your name? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Maravilloso. Ahora, we're going to learn how we can share our name with others through a work of art. Let's look at some artists for inspiration. Matthew Tapia is a self-taught lettering and graphic artist born and raised in Hawaii. He starts all of his design work by hand. Take a look at the many unique ways he's able to create letters. How can you transform the letters in your name into a unique design? You can play around with drawing letters in many different styles using a variety of lines, shapes, and patterns. Once you find a look that you like, debujelo. You can always add a splash of color as well. Christy Jordan is an American artist and art educator. She constructs these amazing custom wooden names. Each one is just as unique as the individual it's created for. ¿Cuáles son algunas de las cosas que puedo usar en su nombre? You can transform the letters in your name into objects that represent your likes and interests. Since I'm an art teacher, para mi nombre, I decided to use some art materials for my letters. Shneha Shreta, also known as Imagine, is a street artist who uses inspiration from her native Nepali alphabet and combines it with American graffiti to create intricate murals. What different languages do you know? ¿Puede usarlo en su arte? Another idea is to repeat your name multiple times to create your own intricate design. Transform your name into a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. In addition to using traditional art supplies, you can also use some unconventional materials as well. Busca objetos adentro y afuera. Be sure to take a picture or video to document your work. Lastly, you can also use your computer to create your name. Check out these digital art programs that allow you to create art con su computadora. Now that we've looked at some ideas for inspiration, es tu turno. First, Think. Primero, piensa. How will you create your name? Después, create. Make your name into a work of art. Convierte tu nombre en una obra de arte. And finally, share. Comparte. Post a picture of your art to our site. Todos quieren ver su trabajo. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to teach others your name. And I can't wait to see how you use your name to create a one-of-a-kind work of art. Remember that names are important. So the next time you meet someone new, instead of asking them to tell you their name, ask them to teach you their name. And if anyone ever mispronounces your name, make sure you correct them. Después de todo, es tu nombre y es especial. Until next time, adios artistas.